So here we are in power chart. We've got the record of a patient open. You've seen the obstetric view, the antenatal, intrapartum, partogram and postnatal tabs across the top. Let's assume that perhaps you've been called to see um, a lady in the labour ward and you now want to make a clinical note. As we've seen, we'll click on clinical notes, add new note, perhaps choose obstetric assessment, give it a name, and then you're ready to type your note. One problem is you can't see at the same time all that information that was so nicely demonstrated in the obstetric view. You can toggle back to it. You can't easily see both at once. Now, this is where something called the tear off functionality may be useful to you. So before I start writing my note, you'll see on the toolbar this icon here. If we click on tear off, we will remove the clinical note to fill the right half of the screen. Okay. Now if I now click back to my original page and click up here. And if I go back to the obstetric view, you can now see that on the left hand side of the screen, I've got all the information I had before. Admittedly, it's a little bit more squashed up. We're in the intrapartum view at the moment, but if I wanted the other sections, the antenatal, or perhaps the partogram view, then I could see that. Now, this test patient actually gave birth a couple of days ago, so if I wanted to see information on the partogram, and perhaps reference that in my note, I'll need to scroll back a bit. It is not something you'd have to do if the patient was actually in labour at this time. Here we go. So you can see the various icons. Go back to add clinical note. Just an obstetric assessment. You can type. So I can type a few things, then I can go to a different part of the record. I can also go out to things like assessments and fluid balance. I actually want to see some of the results. Uh, so remember some of the observations from labour are in here. If I need a bit more room for that, so remind me what these things are, I can. Okay. But all the time I can go back to my note. When I've finished, I sign it as usual. Now, if you just selected this patient with an MRN number or a name, you'll have to create this view for every patient you go to. If you're working from a list, for example, in the antenatal clinic or doing a ward round on the labour ward. And you'll see from here, I can keep this view if it's helpful and I can just scroll to the next patient. It's just reminding me I haven't signed my note there. So here we have, we have the next patient open. A few VT assessments overdue here.